automatic 11 11 developers has made installing stable diffusion in your pc so easy that it would be a crime if i don't talk about it especially if you have nvidia gpus like me or most others it takes only three steps download extract run that's it if you go to their github repository you can see you need to download two dependencies before you can install the web ui and md they are python 3.10.6 and git for windows uh, if you are running on mac then git for mac and they specifically mention that you should not install any newer version of python because they don't support torch and torch is essential for running the stable diffusion therefore you should specifically install python version 3.10.6 from their given link let's just get them downloaded and installed in your pc i'll be providing all the links in the description and once they are installed you are ready to run stable diffusion in your computer if you are running nvidia gpus you just go to this link here download this sd.obui.zip Copy it to your preferred folder, extract it, and that's it. Now I have extracted that zip file in my SDXL folder. I have created a separate folder for SDXL because I tried to install SDXL in my previous Stable Diffusion OBUI folder and it was creating lots of problems, especially with the extensions, other models. I just couldn't make it work out. Then I finally decided to make a fresh install of Stable Diffusion for specifically sdxl and since then it's running great i had to delete the va file because i don't know why it was creating problem with my automatic 11 11 running that may be a bug it might be solved in the future issues or maybe something in my system that i don't really understand because i'm not a programmer or coder so now let's get started let's get this zip folder out of the way Now you all know what we are gonna do, just going to Hugging Face and download the SDXL base and SDXL refiner models, copy and paste them inside OABY models, stable diffusion. I have already downloaded and put them inside the folder. Okay, before we go to for the final step, we have to update the automatic 11.11 because we know SDXL does not run with older versions of automatic 11.11, you need the latest version. Click on update.bat. It's showing that my automatic 11.11 is already up to date. If yours is not, it will just update the systems. And the third step, click on run.bat. If you are doing this for the first time after you have extracted the zip file, then it might take some time it will download all the required files and everything in there as in my case i have already done that therefore it will just launch the web ui right away and that's how easy it is now if you have an nvidia gpu and it also comes with sdxl support now automatic development also runs on amd gpus but it takes one or two more extra steps for that uh, as you can remember we have already installed git for windows that comes with an app named git bash here you have to write a little bit of code type cd space forward slash if you are installing stable diffusion in c drive then this should be c uh, in my case it is z slash the folder that you are specifying for stable diffusion for me this is sdxl hit enter and we are inside the folder in git bash write git clone and go to this website just copy the code from here or uh, the web address back to git paste it and hit enter this should clone the web ui repository from github to your local system now, this is just the same as the previous method it's just a little bit more complicated or it looks a little bit more complicated but does the just the same thing makes a copy of that repository in your local system and after that it's just the same you have the same folder you have same files inside it just copy the models inside the models folder go to this file obui user.bat double click on it and it should start running again for the first time it will download all the files and take some time from the second time onwards it will be pretty fast and one thing you should definitely keep in mind that sdxl is not one model rather it is two models it is the combination of the base model and that refiner model therefore you should always run both of them together to get the actual result that you might get from sdxl if you are working in confi ui then it is pretty easy to run those two models back to back as you just set them in a single chain of nodes specify how many steps the base model would run and how many steps the refiner model would run for example 20 steps for the base models 10 steps for the refiner models and it all happens in one go but in automatic 11 11 you have to go through a two-step process where you first create the image using the base model then send it to image to image and 
refine it using the refiner model but actually there is a refiner extension available for automatic enable in 11 that makes it just one step process like comfy ui you can get it done in the very first step there is no need to go through that roundabout way to go to image to image tab after you have generated that text to image version if you want to learn how you can use that refiner extension in automatic 11 11 you should definitely watch this video right here